of a song, I'm Your Captain, Closer to Home. The song was about, actually about 10 minutes long by the group Grand Funk Railroad. Grand Funk Railroad consists of members Mark Farner on guitar and lead vocals, and he wrote most of the songs. Don Brewer on drums, vocals, and he wrote a lot of great songs too, including their hit, We're an American Band, and Mel Shocker on bass. Prepare yourself for a great adventure as we explore and talk about this great American band. Whereas the 1960s gave rise to supergroups such as the Beatles, Jimi Hendrix Experience, Cream, and Creedence Clearwater, the 1970s exploded with supergroups, and Grand Funk Railroad fit that category. Hailing from the city of Flint, Michigan, Mark, Don, and Mel, and later Craig Frost, who joined the group to play keyboards in the mid-1970s, formed the group in 1969. They derived the name Grand Funk Railroad from an actual railroad that ran through Flint, Michigan, called the Grand Trunk Railway. Uh, here's a bridge overpass of the railroad, and it looks like someone has marked out the Grand Trunk Railroad and put in honor of the band Grand Funk. And above, you can see the names Mark, Don, and Dennis. Not sure who Dennis is, but I believe he has something to do with this prank. The band played their first gig at the 1969 Atlanta Pop Festival in front of 200,000 people. Can you, can you imagine playing your first gig as a band in front of 200,000 people? Well, they did, and they were so well received. Soon after, they signed a recording contract with Capitol Records. In August 1969, the group released their first album, Grand Funk Railroad on Time. The album was a huge success and sold millions. In February 1970, the band released their famous Grand Funk Red album, followed by their third record in June 1970, Closer to Home. So that's three albums released in one year. That's unheard of by today's standards. At the same time, they took out a huge billboard ad in Times Square, New York City, that cost thousands. But a strike occurred right in the middle of this ad being up, and the ad was not taken down for four months. So that stayed up for four months free of charge. The band was known for its high energy concerts. Lead guitarist and singer Mark Farner wrote most of the band's material, which was a mix between rock, Rhythm and Blues with some Motown and some soul mixed in. But the critics hated the band. Fans loved them because Grand Funk Railroad was the band of the people. In mid-1971, the band was booked to play New York's Shea Stadium. 70,000 tickets went on sale and were sold in less than 72 hours, faster than the Beatles. Here's a cool collage of all the Grand Funk records. Actually, it's a quilt someone put together. I guess you can purchase online. So let's go through all the Grand Funk records in chronological order, beginning with On Time, followed by the Grand Funk Red album, that's their second album, Closer to Home, that's their third record, fourth record, Grand Funk Live album, which is great, fifth record, Survival, followed by E Pluribus Funk, that's their sixth record, which was in the shape of a coin, Seventh record was Phoenix, followed by We're an American Band, right here, which had the hit We're an American Band on it. We're an American Band, which was really a good song. Followed by Shining On, and that was followed by their second live album, Caught in the Act, and All the Girls in the World Beware, 
Born to Die, and their final record, Good Singing, Good Playing. Good singing, good playing, grand funk, rock and roll. That's a pretty good record. And I would encourage you to pick up a grand funk record. Uh, if I were to say the top three, I would say uh, definitely a purpose funk, grand funk live record, and probably um, Closer to Home or their final one. All of them were pretty good, but some were better than others. As I mentioned earlier, Grand Funk Railroad started out as a trio with Mark Farner, Mel Shocker, and Don Brewer. In the mid-1970s, they added their friend Craig Frost on keyboard, which really rounded out the sound. This group has sold over 25 million records in their career. And the big question is, why have they not been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? There's no reason. We can only hope that this will happen sometime in the future. Grand Funk was a self-proclaimed American band. You can't talk about rock in the 1970s without mentioning them. Long live Grand Funk Railroad, the true band of the people.